the matter with my powder blush? I don't like my powder blush. Thank you very much. Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Gotta fix my chain. It annoys me when my little thingy turns around. Anyway, uh, get used to this outfit because I have a, just a little bit of energy and I'm hoping that I can get through some of my backlogged videos. And look at this little guy. I forgot all about him. This teeny, teeny, tiny little box. My boxy charm for, yes, May 2022. We're used to that over the last few weeks. May sucked for me. <laughs> so maybe um, these little guys can brighten my day. BoxyCharm is a... Oh, well, what are you now, dear BoxyCharm? I think... I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure <laughs> that these are now... $28? Hmm. Pretty sure the $28 and there's a $2 handling fee. I'm going to like look it up because I should probably be accurate or not. <laughs> but I think it's $28 plus a $2 handling fee. You're getting five products in here. So that basically makes each of the products $6. The way I and my confused little self like to break this down is, overall, would I pay $30 for any one of the products in case, you know, I only liked one product? And then I have to say to myself, well, would I pay $6 for each of these products if none of them really make me go, eh, you know, oh my goodness, this is so amazing. And yeah, these boxes are kind of a gamble. They're basically mystery boxes, so no, though not really because you do get to pick one, so they're not completely a mystery. But if you know me, and if you don't know me, hello, thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Hopefully by the end of the video, you won't think I'm too nuts and you might want to subscribe because, you know, that would be really nice. I would appreciate it. But anyway... I just explained my philosophy. I'm talking too much, and we're just going to get into here and see what we got. I have a bent little card here. Super Bloom was the theme for May. I did open my premium box. I think I probably just posted that, even though I had filmed it like three weeks ago. On the back, they're going to tell me what the products are, what their prices are, and it appears that I have variation 49. You do, as I've mentioned in the, before, get full-size products. And this is from Ciate London. And this is their Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint. I know that this stuff is extremely popular right now, but I am not a huge cream blush or cream product fan. But the last few days, I've been trying to get into it. Typical Ciate packaging. They do change it up every now and then. What color do I have? Does it say? I think that says coconut. <laughs> that is a very interesting color. Not what one would expect. It has the texture of a lip gloss. And it seems quite sheer. That shears out quite a bit. I'm wondering how that's going to work because you see how it kind of loses its pigment I mean it gives a nice little wash of color I'm gonna have to see how the best way to apply this with my finger or with a sponge or with the brush I'm just curious to see if you can actually build up the color so that's an interesting product Let's see what's next. So this is from Yensa, and it is their Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge. Now, Yensa is a brand I love and adore. They're kind of the same things, but, you know, I just thought I would throw in an extra cinnamon. Oh. Cinnamon? <laughs> it's actual, I said cinnamon. I don't even have an explanation for that. The word is synonym. Okay. I love Yensa. They are pricey. Their sister brand is per Pure Lease. And I have I tried their sponge? I don't know. Um, it's kind of firm. I love that it has the angles. I prefer putting on my foundation like with the flat rather than the round. Sometimes the round is good, but I love having different options when I have sponges. So... I have a feeling that this is going to be priced extremely high because of the price tag of Yensa. But I have a thousand sponges, but now I have a thousand and one. So this is from 
V Cosmetic with the K spelled backwards. Never heard of it, but is a liquid velvet lipstick. Oh, hello. Okay. It's in the color Bubbly, and that is a very, very vibrant pink lipstick. Hmm. I have on orangey tones. This is not going to go with my look today. And I want to be sure that if it's not a color that I love, that I may want to pass it on. I'm going to hold off on trying it. Um, I'm going to wait to the end and decide. I don't mind getting brands that I don't know, but I don't want a whole box of brands that I don't know, if you know what I mean. Okay, so this is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is an indie brand, but uh, it's still one that I am aware of. I still don't know what the product is, though. Is there Blur and Moisture Serum Primer? I like the aesthetic. It has a nice little pump, which is really convenient. Let's see. I don't think it has a scent. It's a white cream, and it's very um, creamy. <laughs> I don't know. Did it blur anything? <laughs> It honestly feels just like a moisturizer. Let me let that dry down and, you know, see how I like the texture and how it feels on my hand, etc. I used to, like, be able to finish up primers and stuff, and now I, I can't get through primers if you paid me because I have too many. And I'm not going to complain about that because I like them. There's one more thing in here, and this is from Skin Ink, and it is their Serum Glow Filter. Serum Glow Filter. I don't know what you are. And I don't know if I've heard of Skin Ink before. It says a unique serum with rare gold hibiscus extract that acts as a makeup base to smooth and even skin tone while helping provide brightening and anti-aging benefits. It also helps make pores less visible and gives a pearl finish. Isn't it kind of like a primer? But I just took a really quick, quick look at the ingredients and it has really nice ingredients right up front and oh hello. That is very cool looking but isn't it odd to get two primers in a box when you know maybe they could have put like some eyeshadow in there or something i like the component i love the cap it's very very nice i said that's just very aesthetically pleasing now obviously those are just going to be little encapsulated beads that are going to burst once you rub them in and i'm going back to the dominique primer it feels like I have a film on my hand. Not necessarily in a bad way, but it has a little bit of tack to it, which could be good. So it's a little bit more than skincare. This has a lot of skincare properties in it. Now, I do want to take off that other primer so it doesn't interfere. Let's see here. It's always fun when you have to prime it, right? Oh. Okay, it seems very silicone-y, and it's just, it has like the littlest peachy tinge to it. Now, I didn't see any of the little beads come out, so maybe they got squished as it's coming out. It kind of feels the same as the other primer, but again, I noticed the skincare benefits in this particular one. I rub that in, and again, let me let that sit, and how many times can I say again? cap and the component absolutely adorable alrighty let's get this I said the two primers in a box still a little weird to me but we're gonna work with it so the skin ink serum glow filter do I have a glow maybe I don't know possibly as blending beauty and technology in one bottle gives no there was no word gives in there I have no idea where I got that from strike that this clever concoction is formulated with a rare gold hibiscus extract, and that's actually the first ingredient, and Skin Ink's top two best-selling serums, Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid, both of which are very close to the top. I just looked to give you a selfie filter in real life. Well, I'm gonna, I'll put that one to the test. It is perfect for day use and is personalized to your skin tone using light reflective technology. It enables external light to bounce off of your skin, creating a glowy, pearlized finish and reduced appearance of pores and red skin tone. Well, they just love coming up with explanations. And this little puppy is supposedly $50. That's like, we're talking 
Tatcha. You know, I'm going to look up the website, see what other products they have, and look at those as well. I said the ingredients aren't disappointing, but you know, it's starting to feel a little bit tacky, not as tacky and film like as the Dominique is. The Dominique Cosmetics Blur and Moisture Serum Primer, this refreshing gel serum primer, instantly hydrates your skin, giving you a smooth, even canvas for makeup application with the active ingredients of Salperine 8. Gotta look that up. Give me a minute. You will notice your skin hydration level boost by 8,000%. <laughs> Or does that say six? No, it's only 6,000. So, I mean, you know, that completely is believable. Within 30 days. Packed with clean powerhouse ingredients like hyaluronic acid and triolose, betaine, and a unique sugar complex that delivers a burst of hydration that helps your skin to maintain that moisture. Plus, it has a refreshing cooling effect that can be sure to wake up your skin. I didn't notice the cooling effect when I applied it to my hand. But let me take a peek at the ingredients. I mean, simple, nice ingredients. The patane is an added benefit. Um, but I, I guess we'll see. And this little puppy is $28. Okay. The Ciate London Dewy Blush, which I am very curious to test this out because I don't think it's going to do anything. It says Dewy Blush is the next gen bomb tint blush that is set to shake up and refresh your beauty routine. Gone are the days of chalky powder blush. What's the matter with my powder blush? I have to like my powder blush. Thank you very much. It has an ultra lightweight finish. Yep, it's barely there. It leaves just a subtle hint of color. Okay, at least they're telling you that it's going to add just a little subtle hint of color. It has yuzu and dragon fruit. And this little guy is $22. The V Cosmetics Creamy Liquid Velvet Lipstick. This is $22 also. The Liquid Velvet Lipstick is the product you need to add to your makeup kit. Formulated to be creamy, lightweight, and long-wearing. Making a unique statement with your fashion-forward vibe. And this brand is brand new to Boxy. Do I want to try it? I wish you could, guys. I wish you could, guys. Oh, I wish I could just ask you. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Does it really matter in the long run what I look like? The only thing is I could pass it along to somebody. I could pass it along to a relative. May as well. Life is short. It has a baby doe foot applicator with that little kind of dip in there. It seems like it is a fairly thin formula that, wow, dries down extremely quickly. Let's see how this goes on and how it dries down and how comfortable it is. It is very, very easy to apply. I will give it that. And it's a thin formula, so it wasn't going all over the place and outside my lip line. I actually think I like the color on me. I always defer to you guys because you're always completely honest with me. And I appreciate that so much more than you just saying, oh yeah, it looks great. Because if you don't think it looks great, I really want your opinion. And look at I a little bit. Let's see how that dries down because I actually like it. Let's see what happens. Hold on. All right, it's definitely not transfer proof. I'll still wait though. Dense is Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge and it's $18. I personally don't like paying $18 for sponges, but I didn't. I paid six. All right, I had to delete a couple of things off of my card because my memory card got full. Let me add this up for you. So we've got 50, 78, plus 22, 98, 100, 122, and 32. $140 value, which I think they say you're supposed to get over 125. So they are definitely within that range. And now let me break this down. Would I pay $30 for any one of these products? Hmm. I, I might, I, maybe I would pay $30 for this, possibly, but I personally don't have to break it down in that way because I actually do like my box. Yeah, I got two serums and that's 
little serum primers and that's a little bizarre to me i think they could have replaced one of those with something else i would think i would have been happy with either one of them but i am pleasantly surprised about this lipstick it has stayed off the teeth i can tell you it's dry it's not going to be transfer proof it's almost transfer proof because really nothing came off of my hand that surprised me yet it does rub off on my hand so the important thing is that it stays off my teeth that's that's the most important thing to me i would absolutely pay six dollars for any one of these products i do wish that they would include for me more eyeshadows because eyeshadows are my thing but you know overall i can say that i'm pretty happy with my box if you don't know i pay for everything myself they don't know who i am and I, so obviously i don't receive pr so i'm being completely honest when i'm saying me personally i don't think my 30 dollars was wasted especially when i keep looking in the mirror at this but you know i know i trust you guys that you'll tell me whether or not this works for me but I would like to know if you guys received the box. What did you get? What do you think about your products? What do you think about my products overall? And how do you feel about my philosophy and the way I break down my boxes? Just curious. I said curious several times in the last, like, 34 seconds. But uh, you expect nothing less. Just know that I love you guys tremendously. You are all amazingly wonderful people that I am so incredibly grateful for. But of course, my friends, whatever part of the world you're in on around, hope you're having an amazing day or an amazing night, depending upon when you are watching this. And I will see you really soon in my next one. I love you guys. Bye.